Hey guys, it's Alex. There is a theme that I've noticed coming up a handful of times recently in my own reflections, in my conversations with friends, with other coaches, and even with clients. And it sparked an idea for me that is still pretty rough in my head. And so thank you for bearing with me as I articulate it but which I wanted to try sharing. Now, the topic this is about is this idea of quarter or midlife crises where it feels like everything is kind of falling apart and we need to rebuild. I had something like this happen to me in 2019 when I came back to Canada from a year in Australia. And it was internally one of the more or most difficult, I think, periods I've ever gone through. Um, I won't get into the details of that here, but it also was a gift and that it led me down the path to pursue coaching and to starting the coaching practice that I am now focused on. So, topic of quarter midlife crises, I thought a lot about what is going on, and here's how I see it. As humans, as we age, as we get new experiences, we are constantly growing and evolving, and we are always changing. Things like our habits or our routines change hundreds of times over our lifetime, there are other things like our core values, what's most important to us, that tends to be more stable. But even those might change. So for example, think about the importance of family before you have kids versus after you have kids. So whether habits, whether values, whether anything else, I think we are constantly changing. However, the things we build up in our lives, the home we live in, the jobs we go to, the friends we hang out with, the activities we pursue, I think relatively those things might be a little more fixed. There's some stickiness to them. And what ends up happening over time is that as we change as people, a gap starts to form between us and how we see ourselves and these things we've built up in our lives around us. And I think a quarter or a midlife crisis is when there is some event or catalyst that causes us to suddenly see that gap and be like, who am I? <laughs> what is my life? <laughs> so that's my theory on kind of what is happening there. The thought that it sparked for me is this. Could we, instead of waiting for a big crisis, invoke a bunch of little crises regularly to shorten that gap, to shrink the gap that forms between our identity and our sort of external lives? And maybe mini crises isn't the best way to put it. A, a better way might be, how can we reinvent ourselves regularly? And what that looks like, I think, is the questions we typically ask ourselves in a midlife crisis, like, who do I want to be? What's most important to me? What do I want? What energizes me? What drains me? You get the idea. Rather than waiting for a crisis, how do we ask ourselves that regularly when they feel completely non-urgent and unnecessary, and then start to make little tweaks? as the response is changing. And what I start to wonder is whether there's a way to actually avoid ever having one of these big crises by being intentional about creating mini ones in our lives on a more regular basis <laughs> and almost making that an ongoing practice in our lives. I don't know if that could actually work. Maybe 
Maybe these crises moments are just a part of our lives and they're inevitable. But I do wonder if by doing what I just said, there are ways we can minimize, reduce, or even eliminate them. Um, or actually another way to look at it is just spread them out. <laughs> so it's not one big reset, but lots of little resets. And as I say that, what I start to realize is like, that is the kind of work I would love to do with my clients. Sure, it's great to meet people where they are, where they're in a moment of crisis and try to help them out of it, but I think it's even more interesting and we have an even better starting point in terms of our mental and emotional state to do that exploration on an ongoing basis rather than waiting until we're in a state where we are feel like we're barely surviving. So... That's my thoughts. If you have any reactions or ideas, I would love to hear them. And thank you for listening. Take care.